Hey guys, welcome to another video, and welcome to a video, uh, I don't know, just, some of you guys have asked me some of these questions before, like, what's some of the YouTube channels that you watch, and what's some YouTube channel, YouTube channels you don't watch anymore, and shit like that, um, I, I just thought I'd make a video about it, about YouTube channels I don't watch anymore, but I used to watch. If you guys remember years ago, back in like 2016, I did my top 10 favorite uh, movie YouTubers. Pretty much almost every single one of them I don't watch anymore. <laughs> so there's a lot of reasons why. So I'll just kind of get into it very briefly. I'm not going to talk like shit about these people. Not too much shit, really. Because I'm not here to start shit. I'm just here to just explain why I don't watch them anymore. That's really it. It's not about like I hate them or anything. Just I lost interest in their channels. Simple as that. You guys watch these people. That's awesome. That's cool. I'm not here to judge you guys. So let's get to it. Here's the first one. Uh, first one is Screen Junkies. Uh, I did a whole video about Screen Junkies, so I don't need to talk too much about it. But I was a huge Screen Junkies fan back in the Screen Junkies show, especially Movie Fights. Movie Fights was my favorite thing. I know everyone watches it for honest trailers and still watches it for honest trailers. That's all. Really, that's all they do now. Screen Junkies is like a dead thing now. All they do is honest trailers. They don't do movie fights anymore. They don't do the Screen Junkies show anymore. They, they they don't do they don't really do anything now. So a lot of it was because like Andy Signor kind of started like kind of called them out on their bullshit and yeah, I feel like a lot of them just like kind of fucked off and I don't know. Just, I, I I don't like what Screen Junkies became. I used to love them back in the day, but not now. They just do honest trailers now, so it's kind of boring. Number two, CinemaSins. I'm not a huge CinemaSins. I did a video about CinemaSins as well, so I won't talk too much about them. I, I, I'm just not. I, they had a shtick, and at first I loved it, and then I just kind of started to not like it. It's just they. The point of CinemaSins is they just point out little nitpicks in every film, and that's the joke. That's fine. That's funny, but to me, that's not interesting. Pointing out, like, little nitpicks in some movies is just kind of, I don't know. I don't know. I don't find that funny or interesting. That's just me. It's my forte. Um, I don't know. It's just how they do their cinema scores is weird, too. Just, I don't know. I'm not a CinemaSins fan, so that's really it. Uh, number three is The Schmodown. Uh, again, I did a video about The Schmodown as well. I will very much say, though, uh, they did make... A new channel pretty recently called uh, the SCN Network and I like it so I don't watch the Schmodown anymore I still I do not watch the Schmodown just no uh, it's not my thing anymore uh, movie trivia eventually just kind of gets old and tiring after years of doing it and stuff so I don't know, just I don't watch the Schmodown I did a whole video why I don't watch the Schmoes anymore but the the Schmo network that they just made pretty recently, and it's all pretty much Christian Harloff and a couple guests. It's a lot better. I actually quite enjoy it. It's funny. Uh, I don't, I, yeah, maybe I'll talk about it. I actually talked to Christian Harloff. Actually, I messaged him, and he actually messaged me back, and he said he watched my Schmo's video. So <laughs> I appreciate that. And appreciate that he watched the video, uh, and he took no offense of it. And a lot of people did not like that video. But Christian actually said to me that he um, he didn't find it offensive and he didn't find it like a hate video. He understood why I made it. He said I was a bit harsh a little bit on some things, but he understood it. And he even wanted to know my feedback on the new channel. And I said it was good. I liked the new channel. So, yeah. Christian's a good dude, man. He's a nice guy. Very nice guy. So, yeah. The the, the SEN network, much better than the Schmodown. All right, next is Movie Bob. Bob Chipman. Uh... One of the first movie, probably like the first movie critic I actually listened to, uh, well, Cisco and Ebert, I watched it on television, but like on, on, online, on the internet, I watched him, what was the year I started watching him? Had to have been like 2010, yeah, 2010, uh, and I loved his style, I watched him on The Escapist, and I watched him for years, almost like eight years, I met him in person got his autograph and bought his book uh i met him in person he was a cool guy i stopped watching him because 
<laughs> I don't like the way he does his format and his videos, and he's had a lot of issues with a lot of people. He keeps jumping around. Like, he got fired from the escapist, then he went to geek.com, then he went back to escapist, then left escapist again, and now he's on his own channel. I don't know. And he, he puts a lot of politics in his channel, and he's uh he's kind of guy, like, if you don't agree with him, you're fucking wrong, and I don't know. That's annoying, so I had to kind of unscribe his to his channel so yeah anyways number five is john campia uh john campia left collider started his own thing did a great job he's still doing a great job uh there is no rhyme or reason really i, I stopped watching him i just kind of he kind of like fell off the the track for me i just just didn't watch his videos anymore no rhyme or reason. I have nothing actually bad to say about John Campia. I think he's very informative and he's uh, very smart. He loves movies. He's very passionate. He has a strong fan base and, you know, good for him. I just kind of like fell off track with him and just, just never decided to go back and probably won't. I don't know. Just don't have an urge to. I don't know. I guess he just personally never like, you know, kept grabbing me and like he kept trying to like... I don't know how to say this. Like he, um, there's some people I watch. I always kind of watch the new video they made because, like, I don't know. They just like, they just grab my attention. And just maybe for some reason, John Campy, I just didn't do that. I watched him for a little bit and kind of fell off of it. Simple as that. No, 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 nothing else. All right, next is Channel Awesome. This is the big one right here because this was one of my favorites. I loved. Doug Walker, the nostalgia critic. Huge fan. It was a big fan. Back in, like, that guy with glasses, I watched all his shit. I, like, I love... Like, his old versus new is, like, kind of what inspired me to do my original versus remake. Like, he was so great. He was so enjoyable. He was so fun and energetic. And I loved how he ripped on movies. And just... Yeah, I just... I was a huge uh, nostalgia critic fan. Huge fan. And then when he went to Channel Awesome... Still watching them all the time. Even when uh, the shit went down with uh, Change the Channel, I still watched them. Not as much, but I still watched them. And then he did The Wall. <laughs> the review for Pink Floyd's The Wall is iconically bad. And that's all I gotta say. There's so many videos about th that video he made. So, also, just like, uh, again, just. His shtick kind of wear off from me. Like, uh, I prefer his old school nostalgia critic when he was by the wall and just ripping on films and everything like that. And then when he quit nostalgia critic and did demo reel, which was awful, he kind of brought demo reel into the nostalgia critic. And for for years, I thought it was great and fun and stuff, but I got very annoyed after a little bit, and I'm like, you know what? His, like, skits and things, they're just not funny. I don't know. They're just... I don't find them very funny. Even, like, for, like, almost a year, I still didn't find them funny. I still kind of watched them. But then I just, like, I'm like you know what? I'm kind of done with them. Uh, I'm still subscribed to him. And occasionally I'll see what, like, he's doing and stuff. But I don't know. Just, just I lost complete interest in Channel Awesome. Just, I don't know. I think his, like, skits, they're not very funny. And just... I just, like... People talk in movies, and I like people in front of cameras just, like, kind of ripping on them. And how he did it back in his That Guy with Glasses days was just a lot funnier than what he does now. So, yeah, personally. Next is Angry Joe. <clears throat> Angry Joe. Uh, he's a gamer. He does video game stuff. Um, I liked him back in... I, I watched him back when he was on like Gone, That Guy with Glasses, and even Taylor Lawson. Awesome. That's where I watched Angry Joe. When he left Channel Awesome, I kind of stopped watching him. And not because he left Channel Awesome. I don't know. I just kind of... I just lost interest in his videos. Simple as that. So that that's it. Uh, from what I've heard, he's gotten kind of political in some of his speeches and some of the shit he says. I wouldn't know anything about that because I haven't watched Angry Joe in like two years. But I was a big fan of his, but I just fell off the map for him. That's simple as that. Next is also another big gamer I kind of lost interest in. That was uh, Melanie Mack. Melanie Mack is a female game streamer. 
she did a lot of Tomb Raider streams and Uncharted streams, and that's why I really loved watching her, and she was a great streamer, and I loved her personality. Then she just kind of fell off the map. She, for like 10, 11 months, she didn't post anything. And then when she came back, I just didn't go back to her, because I, it was too long, and just like, nah. No thanks. <laughs> that, that's similar. Sometimes when YouTubers, like, when they, like, leave for long periods of time, I don't check back with them. Like, you know what? Like, if you come back, that's cool. But if when you check out, I check out. So that symbols that for me. All right, next is uh, Andre Meadows, Black Nerd Comedy. I loved Andre. He was so funny, so enjoyable. He even did uh, videos with, like, Kitty Wilson. I watched her a little bit, too. After she stopped doing, like, Game of Thrones stuff, I just kind of fell off the mat with her. But Andre, I watch all the time. He did unboxings. Doesn't do those anymore. That was, like, my favorite thing he did is unboxings. He did some movie reviews. Talked about old, nostalgic things. You know, clearly. I don't know. Just, uh, again, he just stopped being as funny as he was. He stopped, uh, I don't know, he stopped being the same Andre he, uh, he wasn't as enjoyable. He wasn't doing some of the old school stuff he used to do. I, just, I don't know. I, I guess he grew as a channel, but I don't know. I just, I, I just lost I lost interest. Like, like a lot of these channels, I lost complete interest. More more, more extreme cases, the ones I made videos about, like Screen Yankees and CinemaSins and Schmoes, that was a little different. But when it comes to a lot of these people, I just kind of fell off the map. and just I, I used to be fans of, fans of them, just not anymore. All right, and then to the last one, which is the biggest one, and that's Chris Duckman. Chris Duckman is just a, this is a recent one too, um, very recent, um, because I still watch some of the big ones. Like I watch Jeremy John still. Jeremy John's is interesting because I uh, I don't watch his videos for like a month, and then I go to his channel and I just kind of like skim through and watch some of his videos he reviewed that month. Even the flick pick, uh, I I stopped watching him for like. A year and a half, two years, but then I kind of like, kind of sort of got back into him now I, in his live streams. Sorry, Chris Duckman. I kind of, I'm personally finished watching Chris Duckman, and this is nothing to do with him as a person. But uh, Chris Duckman was my favorite uh, YouTuber, movie critic, for a long time. Uh, I was. Um, Fans with him back when uh, he did his review for Movie 43 and he did a rant on the movie going experience back in 2013. That's when I became a subscriber and an avid watcher of him all the way up to this year. Um, he's done some amazing stuff. His hilariosities are still amazing. But he just doesn't do all the stuff that made him famous and made him great. He just doesn't do them anymore. And he doesn't want to do them anymore and he doesn't have to. And that's that's fine. But that's why I subscribed to him. I subscribed to him because I loved his rants, his uh, his movie-going experience stuff, his reviews, his uh, hilariosities. Those is what made him great and so funny and enjoyable to watch. But because he's now a filmmaker, he doesn't want to rip on movies anymore. And he doesn't want to do his hilariosities. He just wants to talk about filmmaking. And he just wants to talk about movies he likes, and that's really it. And that's that's fine. That's that's cool. Good for him. To me, that doesn't seem interesting. <laughs> but that's his channel. That's his choice. Like if he wants to talk about what he wants to talk about, okay, that's fine. That's your channel. You can do whatever the hell you want on your channel. You can talk about whatever the fuck you want to talk about. But that's not what I subscribed to him for. Like, I love his reviews, and he's going to be still doing reviews, but I like his hilariosities and his rants and all his old school stuff, and he just doesn't do that anymore. So, to me, there was just no point. And he even made a video about, like, a different chapter in his life. Just this, He made this a few months ago, and he was like, I'm not going to do videos like that anymore, and I understand if you don't want to keep watching me, and I am part of those people. I don't want to keep watching him. He's not the same Chris Duckman anymore, and... It's not a bad thing, just that's not what I subscribe for. So, yeah. Start watching Chris Duckman. Wish him for the best. He's still talented and heard he's a nice guy, so awesome. So, yeah, those are all the YouTubers that I don't watch anymore. 
Some are just, I, I fell off the map on, and I just watch different videos now. Maybe I'll do a new updated top 10 favorite YouTubers I love to watch. So, yeah. What about you guys in the comments below? What are YouTubers you used to watch, but you don't watch anymore? Let me know. Comment below. Let me know. And as always, for this video, please subscribe to the channel and join the dark side.